uh, hello uh, good morning everyone uh, the uh, us markets uh, were down uh, yesterday by 1% uh, because of uh, poor data on the retail sales front uh, even the numbers that home depot uh, the retail store uh, gave out was disappointing uh, so this is pointing to a slowdown in their economic uh, recovery uh that was the reason for the decline there uh, however asian markets are up uh, uh, broadly around half a percent uh, and uh, so is xgs nifty uh, i will request the technical team to take up from here yeah hi sorry good morning i'll be covering the technical part for now so uh, uh, as as we had mentioned yesterday in yesterday's call nifty showed a tremendous move and made new all time highs with a strong closing above 16600 well taking the cues from today's global market uh, we feel uh, nifty is expected to open gap up and we'll be expecting a positive move for today's session looking at nifty uh, it gave a closing of 16614 uh, whereas immediate intraday resistance for nifty is uh, placed at 16700 and if and if nifty gives a closing above that we may expect a further rally towards 16780 followed by 16850 levels whereas intraday support for nifty lies at 16540 and 16450 again we feel it is going to be stock specific market and we request everyone to trade with strict stop losses because in yesterday's and day before trading sessions we have witnessed like index was moving up but only some specific stocks were moving uh, moving up so it's a stock specific market now moving on to the bank nifty bank nifty is not performing as well Uh, well as compared to nifty well a reversal was seen in the end in bank nifty in yesterday's trading session when it gave a closing of 35937 but today immediate resistance for bank nifty is at 36100 and if bank nifty closes above that we may expect a further rally towards 13 36300 followed by 36550 whereas intraday support for bank nifty lies at 35700 700 and 35500 moving on to the nifty financial services index it gave a closing of 17396 almost 17400 well immediate resistance for the index is placed at 17500 and followed by 17620 whereas if if there's a change in momentum and the index uh, starts to go down then the immediate support is placed at 17300 uh, followed by 17200 from stock specific point of view eu bank and petronet and petronet looks good at current levels eu bank can be bought for the targets of 1390 with a stop loss of 1320 and petronet can be bought for the targets of 240 with a stop loss of 216 well we have already initiated a buy call on eu bank one can one can hold the long positions now, i'll also be covering the derivative part for the today now let's start with analyzing the derivative data of yesterday well strong put writing positions were added at 16000 and 16500 strikes which is going to act as a major support level for the nifty in this august series well 16000 is a very fast strike price so for intraday support level in nifty is a place at 16500 and 16450 now this was the put side data now moving on to the call writers data call writers are currently active at 16750 and 16800 strike price which will act as an intraday resistance for nifty in today's session or maybe the after tomorrow now the only point of concern here is pcroi which is currently trading uh, in the overbought zone and with, and gave a closing of 1.67 yesterday which might create slight profit booking but we feel that would be an opportunity to buy on dips till the time nifty is holding 16500 and 16450 support levels on the, on the closing basis we suggest everyone to hold the long positions well that's all from the technical and the derivative side i request fundamental team to carry out yeah uh Uh, the uh, hdfc bank uh, uh, yesterday uh, had some positive news rbi has lifted the ban uh, on uh, sourcing of new credit cards uh, that it had put on the bank in uh, uh, the month of december 2020 so after almost uh, eight odd months uh, it has removed that ban so uh, uh, this is positive for the bank uh, uh, when this ban was put uh, uh, eight months back uh, the stock had reacted negatively Uh, so similarly we should expect a positive move over here in the short term uh, thank you good morning everyone uh, today uh, make money fine time and make money organics uh, would be relisting uh, 
make many organics has demerged his business of caustic soda and chloralkali into clo into uh, uh, make money fine make money fine camp so all the agri and uh, pigment business would be remained in make money organics and make money fine camp would have this uh, chloralkali business uh, we are expecting uh, on the we have we have valued mol that is make money organics on the basis of p and mfl being a commodity business we have valued it on the basis of ev vibita so as per our uh, understanding Uh, mol should list around our uh, 140 around 145 150 rupees and mfl can list around 200 or so uh, this mol when it was delisted or when it was stop trading the price was around 138 rupees so this is on a quite upside from this uh, all the mol uh, shareholders have got equal number of new mol shares so if you have been holding 1000 shares you have got 1000 shares of mol Plus ninety four shares of MFL on thousand shares, so that's the swap ratio it was. So uh, look out for this. Thank you. Yeah. Uh, good morning, everyone. Uh, HCL Tech has signed a five year end to end IT transformation deal with Becker Chemie AG, a German multinational chemical company. Although the, the deal size is not known, this is positive to the company. Thank you. Yeah, uh, that's all for the day. Uh, have a good day. Thank you. Subscribe to our YouTube channel for in-depth interviews of India Inc. and press the bell icon so that you do not miss our updates.